My first real kind of vivid footballing memory was when, when Tottenham played uh, in, in kind of the FA Cups, gone by obviously. And uh, it was it was the, like the, the QPR, the Man City kind of time, and those players back then for me were were absolute superstars. Yeah, back then it was the FA Cup that because we had nothing to shout about in the league. Well, we haven't done since. Uh, so it was like the FA Cup specials. It, it really was the, the the Man City with the, with the three two uh, Ricky Vili goal and 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 all that. Did you want to be a a footballer growing up, or were you at the pub and club with your dad, chucking hours from a, a younger age than when you're watching? Yeah, football? I, I I used to play in the same school team as, as Ray Parler, wow. so I knew I was never going to make it as a footballer. <laughs> yeah. My first shirt that I ever bought was the the 1994 Ajax strip. Wow. They they were amazing at the time, uh, and it was. I was kind of massively into European football back then. It was class as really the first kind of one touch. They played a different kind of brand of football and I fell in love with it. It's all about the timing and I was so lucky to, to go and watch Glenn Ardell. Never broke stride but was always in the right place. He looked cool, he, he, like the socks rolled down, the shirt out and just ambling around, curls it in the, in the top corner or just like looks one way, passes it the other, like feigns where it's going. He was the, the first one that, that was who I was in the playground. Gazza's goal against Scotland was, it's just insane. Absolutely insane. The skill, the vision, you name it, just watching Colin Endry like, oh, what, what, what happened? Yeah. Well, oh, it was a goal, right? I didn't see that. Well, no one did. Uh, and obviously the dentist chair that come after. This is how special it was, that Gascoigne goal. You can say that. Yes, yeah. You can say that. There are certain moments. There like are certain things. That model commentary. Yeah, that my ah, oh, thank you, please, please. <laughs> I'm falling in love with you, honestly. <laughs> but it, it, was, it was amazing and it, and it, and it still is. This was actually the first time I cried, at f not at the match, but cried over football. I'd never cried over football. It was when uh, it's gone extra time and penalties in the 84 UEFA Cup final against Anderlecht. Tony Parks is in goal and he become the absolute hero, which sometimes happens in penalty shootouts. But that was my, my first real emotional game. That was my first real memory of, of football. That was my first real memory of, I think I care about Tottenham. The Lucas Moura hat-trick was like, what, what, what on earth? What, 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 hello? What, what on earth? That was just, it was weird for a couple of reasons, not because it was Lucas Moura, but it was, it was Tottenham we're going to do something that they don't do, and that's punish mistakes late on from a team in a big game. We were out, as it mentally we, we were out, but the players weren't. I was, I, I checked out kind of about an hour before, but that took us to a, a Champions League final. The final, it, and it's, it's weird, I've spoke about this. You get to a Champions League final and it's like, right, come on, down early, very early, two minutes. From that moment on, we, when I say we, Tottenham, never had a chance to win.